Picture this, you're in your first home and money is tight, but you are dying to renovate. What do you do? Most of the work yourself, with a little paint advice from Sharon Grack. Christian, congratulations on your new home. You guys have been pretty busy already by the looks of it. Thank you, we have. So we've um, taken down the ceiling, we've taken down a couple of the walls. It really um, opens it up. Yeah, really opens it up. We're looking at doing some paint colors to the cabinetry, um, but obviously we're young, a new couple, first home <laughs> coming out of the condo in the city, so it's really exciting, but we are on a tight budget. So, I mean, we have some great ideas, but we could really use your help on some paint colors. Well, so. paint can be a really inexpensive makeover, and I think you'll have to do something about the flooring and some of the finishes, but but you're on the right track. Awesome. Christiane, this place looks fantastic. You guys did an amazing job and they did all the work themselves. Thanks, Sharon. We're really happy with it. It turned out really, really well. Um, it's a labor of love. It really <laughs> is. <laughs> now, I know your vision was to open the space up. You took out a few walls, but the color palette really helps. I'm really happy with the ballet white on the walls simply white on the ceiling and on the trim. So it's just a little bit of contrast. Yeah, it really contrasts with the floors. By the way, what do you think of the floors? You made an awesome choice. It looks great. It's nice and textured and it brings some warmth into the space and it works with the age of the home being a country home. And in fact, I was thinking it ties in really nicely with this. I don't remember that before. No, that's wood actually a treatment. structural piece actually. Um, so we took a wall down and then we had to compensate for it. So we took some barn board off my fiance's parents' barn and brought in a piece of their home to our home. I love yeah. that. That is such a nice story. And it's better than hiding it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's nice like to actually really show it off. Yeah. Now the kitchen, well, it looks new. It does. I'm so happy we took your advice with painting the cabinets on our own. We were able to save a ton of money, so that was really great. And you could spend a little bit of that money on the new hardware. It makes a big difference. And then this stunning island. I love this. Me too. This is my favorite piece of the whole house. And my fiance built it. So he so built, saved money there too. Yeah, <laughs> saved money there. He built, he bought stock cabinets, put it all together, built a base, and there you have it. That That's is great. fantastic. And this beautiful quartz counter. This is so practical. It's really great in a small space to have pieces that are multifunctional. So you've got your prep area because you don't have a lot of countertop on the other side. You can use this. It's a dining room table. and. A great place to party, I bet. <laughs> great place to party. We've had plenty here, so it's been perfect. Way to go. Oh, they did such a good job, and they saved a lot of money by painting the existing kitchen cabinets themselves. So Sharon is here now to show us how to get a professional finish. You can do it yourself. Listen, I've talked to folks in the audience about this who have done it themselves and what you need to be aware of, it will take time. time. Yes. Okay, it'll be cheaper than getting it done elsewhere, but it will take time to do it right. Absolutely. So we have a before and after of a very dramatic, just so you can see once again how dramatic it is. This is the before. Um, a lot of us can relate to this kitchen. And then look at after. They've painted the cabinets it's themselves. Really I mean, it's so contemporary. Come on, it looks like a completely yeah. different kitchen. And that could be the thing that you really are longing for in your reno. Well, well, that's it. And I think the kitchen, we spend so much time in there. So you really need it to look and, and feel and function beautifully. So yes. doing the work yourself is hard and you're bang on. It's an investment of time. It might yeah. not be as much money, but it's time. So what I wanted to do is show an array of stages yes. of a really, really awesome painted cabinet. That's exactly how done, you want it to look. I this mean, that is, is how flawless. you want it to look. It's done really well. It's smooth. There's no imperfections. The hardware was removed. It, it actually actually looks like it was sprayed. It was very, very good. Yes. So that's what you want to do. That's your benchmark. So when you're doing it not so well, right. uh, to tell the truth, I had a painter work this one perfectly for me, and then I did yeah. this one, but I did it really badly On to purpose. show you. Yeah, so you want to see how when you're hanging it up, yeah. you don't want to hang it up, you want to take it down. So look at those drips, Tracy. When you're using even a really good paint, yes. it drips. So you so can see it all up here in the corner, and this is, you know, this is what I would be afraid of if I was doing it myself. So those drips are there, you've got, um, it's not like all it's the way through. Consistent. It's not consistent. Yeah, and it's not in full finish. Like, yes, it's supposed to be done. That's not what so you wanted. You want to. You have to sand it. You have to get rid of the smooth surface. You have to clean it. You can see that, you know what? A lot of times we think, oh, I'll just paint over it. Who's going to know? Well, with kitchen cabinets, you might be able to get away with it on a wall. Yeah. But kitchen cabinets, the oil, the grease in the kitchen, you need yes. to clean that really well. So you can see when I went over it, it just didn't stick properly. No. So it's really, really important. Remove the hardware. you got to take it off. Don't paint around it. Even yeah. if you tape it, you're going you're gonna to see lines. You're going to see marks. Right. So let's take these cabinet doors off the wall, sure. which is what you should do in reality. <laughs> okay, don't you paint them there. You can't paint them while they're still on. No. 
because the wall. You know, you'll forget drip. to do the top. It will drip. Like it yeah. makes such a difference. So the important part is thinking about how much time. So you lay them flat. Remove all of your hardware. Yes. Okay. Take it right off. So we've done that here. You can see these were um, these were previously loved cabinets, mm -hmm. and they've got a nice sort of smooth finish on it. Okay. It's wood underneath. It's perfect to paint, but you've got to cut that sheen a little bit. So your first step is to sand, sand it. it. So you want to sand it down. If it's really, really dirty, then clean it first, but otherwise yes. sand it down. So you don't need to use anything too strong, like a 100, 150 grit yep. sandpaper will be fine. And it really just takes the it just takes the sheen off, and it just creates a finish that will allow the paint to penetrate into it and the primer. If you have okay. uppers and lowers, uh, that's a lot of cabinet doors. Yes. So can you mm. use the machine? Can you use the sanding machine? Yeah, absolutely. If help? it's a flat surface, it's yeah. easier for sure. Okay. But you just made me think of something really important. Label them when you take them oh, off. Oh, that's true. Just get a piece of tape, upper. black marker, upper, you know, go from left to right and go one, two, three, four, five. Because yes. if you don't do that, they don't always fit back together the same way if you true. don't put them in the right spot. So very, yeah. very important step. So you've sanded it, okay. you've primed it. Now we've cleaned it really well, we've primed mm -hmm. it. And you want to use, um, on a wood surface, yeah. advanced primer, Benjamin Moore's advanced primer is perfect. It gives you, and it fills in any little small um, crevices, maybe in the oak and the wood that you might have. These are really okay. smooth. If it's a surface that isn't wood or is super shiny, you're not sure it was on there, then I would recommend using sticks primer. It sticks to everything. Oh, okay. Okay. That's good to know. So when it comes to the painting part, we're laying it flat. I yep. love to use yeah. these little guys so that it's on a surface, um, so that it's not right down to the, the bottom here, so you can get the edges. Oh, I see. But the really important part is a low pile roller. So this is actually a velour finish, a mm -hmm. small one. You could get away with just using a brush, because you're gonna have to use a brush when you've got a panel like yep. this as well. But you wanna get it in there. So Advanced if you've got the more curl. contemporary uh, cabinets as well, it's good to know that they're actually going to be easier to paint. They are. You don't have <laughs> the bumpy little ridges all the way around that you get in a more traditional cabinet. Exactly, exactly. Angle sash brush, though, Love when you are color. doing this. Isn't it pretty? This is Covington Blue That's in gorgeous. Advanced Pearl. And I like Advanced because it is a waterborne alkyd. So I love the smoothness, the yeah. self-leveling of the alkyd paint, but yes. it's waterborne. So again, let it dry. Uh, do a quick sanding in between of a 220 grit. Oh, really? Second coat. This is if you want it to be perfect. Yeah. And wait two to three days before you put the hardware on and put it back. So just take an area in your house that you don't need for a couple of days, lay yes. them flat, put them all back on, and then you're good to go. You do want it to be perfect. It's your you kitchen. You do. You're going right? to all this effort. So. Yeah. Okay, thank you for that, Sharon. Good uh, steps there.